In this video, I'm going to go over how to go ahead and create your very own NFT marketplace on the Polygon blockchain. We're going to be using a couple contracts from Third Web, and we're going to go ahead and actually create our own marketplace app. Now, NFT marketplace allows people to go ahead and list their NFTs up for sale, and it allows anyone with a connected wallet to the marketplace to go ahead and purchase an NFT that they select that is on sale. First thing we're going to do is really quickly create a sample NFT collection that we're going to Go ahead and list on our marketplace we're going to go ahead and also create our marketplace smart contract and we'll go ahead and then use third web's sdk to go ahead and create our very own marketplace app before we jump into the video i want to let you know that currently 70 percent of the amazing people like yourself that watch their web's youtube videos are still not subscribed to the channel so before we begin i'd love to ask you a favor if you get any value out of these videos i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the third web channel and a little tip is we're going to be airdropping 10 users who have subscribed to the third web channel a very special nft every week so let's get started and first let's go ahead and jump onto third web's website and create our nft collection so right now i am on third web's website i am on the dashboard i have my wallet and everything connected I don't have any contracts yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to deploy a new contract right here in the top right. And what we're gonna do is scroll down a little bit into this NFTs section here, and you'll see NFT collection. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And once in there, we'll go ahead and hit deploy now in the top right corner. We'll give this a name. We'll just call this test collection. We'll give it a little symbol, just put test. And we'll just put this is a test collection for our marketplace. And then, oh, let's go ahead and connect our wallet because it's not connected here. And fill out the information up top. Now in the bottom area here, network and chains, we're gonna make sure we are on the Mumbai testnet. This is Polygon's testnet blockchain and I highly suggest that whenever you're creating a project or anything that you use testnet, make sure everything works prior to you deploying on mainnet. So again, we're going to be using the Mumbai testnet. Let's go ahead and hit deploy. Wait till our transaction pops up and to, then we'll go ahead and confirm it. All right. Looks like we have successfully deployed our contract. You can see up here, we have a section for our NFTs, uh, which we don't have any right now. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is mint three NFTs so that we can go ahead and list those NFTs on our marketplace. So up here in the right corner, we're gonna hit mint. I'm just gonna call this item number one. And we're gonna upload a file. I have some sample NFT artwork right here that I'm gonna choose from. I'm not gonna give it a description or any properties right now. I'm just gonna give it a name and image and then we're gonna go ahead and mint that. Wait for that transaction to come up. Let's go ahead and confirm it. All right, looks like we have successfully minted our first NFT here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for two more NFTs and we'll continue from there. All right, there you go. We have successfully minted our three NFTs here. You can see item one, two, and three and our different images for NFTs here. So this is gonna be, again, our sample collection that we're just going to list on our marketplace to make sure that our listings work. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Third Web's dashboard. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and create our marketplace smart contract. So we're gonna go up to deploy new contract again in the top right. Um, you can see marketplaces up here in the popular category, but if it's not there, if you scroll down a little bit more, there is a marketplaces category here and you have our marketplace smart contract. So we click on that and we hit deploy now in the top right. Let's go ahead and name our marketplace. We're just going to call this Mumbai marketplace because it's going to be on the Mumbai testnet. And we're just going to say this is a test marketplace. Again, make sure down below your network and chain that you select is the Mumbai testnet. And we'll go ahead and hit deploy. All we need to do is confirm our transaction here. And we have successfully now deployed our very own marketplace smart contract. You can see up here we have our listings, which 
Right now we don't have anything, but we'll go ahead and create some listings in a little bit. Uh, you also have permissions. This is where you can actually set certain permissions um, to your marketplace contract. So you can actually gate what wallets can actually list items on the marketplace. You can also determine what assets or what NFT collections can be listed on the marketplace. Meaning if you have your own NFT collection and you're looking just to create a marketplace for your own collection, you can just make it so that people can only list NFTs from your collection in this marketplace. But we're gonna leave this all open here. We're gonna go back to our listings and we're gonna create listings with the NFTs that we just created. So we hit create listing here. It should load our NFTs that we just minted, the three of them. You can see right here, if I select one, we can go ahead and list them on our marketplace. So we're gonna do a direct listing. We're gonna keep it in Matic. And for this one, I'm just gonna put 0 0.01 and we'll go ahead and create that listing. Now for your first listing, like any other marketplace, you're going to have to first confirm a transaction that gives um, access to the NFTs so that the marketplace has access to go ahead and sell them. We'll hit confirm on that one. And then the second transaction, of course, will be the actual transaction confirming the listing on our smart contract. And we'll confirm that one. All right, we have successfully listed our first item or NFT on our marketplace. Again, I'm going to do this for the two other NFTs and we'll continue from there. All right, there you go. We now have our three NFTs listed. You can see item one, two, and three, the listing IDs right here, and the listing price. I made them all different, so 0 0.01, 0 0.03, and 0 0.05. So now that we have some NFTs listed, when we create our Marketplace app, we'll be able to pull these down and be able to display them on our Marketplace. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. Let's open up our terminal, and let's go ahead and create our Marketplace app. So we're going to use the third web's CLI here. So I'm going to put MPX third web and I'm going to do at latest to get the latest version. And we're going to do create. All right. We are creating an app. Uh, I'm just going to name this Mumbai test smart market. And this is going to be a polygon. So it is EVM. Uh, we're going to be using Next.js and a TypeScript for this project. All right, and once that completes, we'll go ahead and change directory to our project. And let's go ahead and open this up in VS Code. All right, so now that we have our project open, if we go to pages, first thing we're going to do is go to our app.tsx file. And under this active chain ID here, uh, we're going to change this from mainnet to Mumbai because we created our contracts on the Mumbai testnet. Next thing we're going to do is if we look at index.tsx, you're going to see a bunch of templated code here. Uh, we're going to actually remove some of this. So within the main tags, I'm going to go ahead and remove everything. And what we'll do is we'll just add a header and we'll just say Mumbai Marketplace. And then what we'll also do is add a connect wallet ui component from third web as well so that someone a user can go ahead and connect their wallet to our marketplace so let's go ahead let's open up our terminal here and i'll just write yarn dev and let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at it so as you can see here we have our header mumbai marketplace and we have our connect wallet so we can actually select like metamask and it'll go ahead and connect our wallet to our marketplace Okay, so now that we have that set, let's go ahead, let's grab our listings from our smart contract. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable here and we're going to name it contract. And what we're going to do is use third webs use contract. And what we're going to pass through this is the contract address of our marketplace. And we'll also define that it is a marketplace contract. So let me go ahead, let me grab my marketplace contract. So if you go back to your third web dashboard and you go to your marketplace smart contract, in the top left, you'll have the contract address. You can just click to copy. We'll go back and we'll paste it right there. All right, so we have our contract here. Now the next thing we need to do is get our listings from our smart contract. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our listings and what we're going to do is use third webs use active listings and use active listings is going to take a contract so we'll just go ahead and pass our marketplace contract there 
Now, what we can do is we can get the data and we can also check if it is loading. Now the data, we're going to go ahead and just give it the name NFTs because that is going to load our active NFT listings. Okay, so now that we have our contract set up and we're getting our active listings, let's go ahead and display them in our marketplace. So first thing we're going to do is check to make sure that our NFTs or active listings are done loading. So as long as it is not loading, what we'll do is we will, if it's not loading, we will display our NFTs here. Uh, but if it is loading, what we'll do is show a quick, just a loading text. Right. Now, when it is done loading, what we want to do is, of course, display our NFTs that are listed. So what, oops, what we will do is map through our NFTs. So we have NFTs and what we'll do is map our NFTs. And for each NFT, we'll go ahead and create our own little NFT listing. And what we'll do is return. Uh, first, what we'll do just to test everything is we'll just go ahead and return the name of the NFT. So what we can do to get the name is NFT dot under asset. We have our assets name. So again, we're checking to make sure that uh, is loading right here um, is completed. So if it not is loading, uh, we'll go ahead, get our NFTs, we'll map through it. And right now we'll just display the name of our NFTs. If it is still loading, it will go ahead and show our loading text here. So if we come back to our site here, you can see loading, it's grabbing our NFT listings and it should then display our three items, which is item one, two, and three, which are our three NFTs that we have listed here. So we know that we can grab our listings. Let's go ahead, let's grab a little bit more because right now it's just showing the name and People don't know what the NFT looks like and they don't have a way to buy the NFT. First, let's add an image. Let's use uh, another third web component here called Media Renderer. And Media Renderer, what it will do is display the image of the NFT. So we do need to give it a source, which is going to be NFT.asset.image. And we'll go ahead and we'll give it a height of 200 pixels and a width of 200 pixels and let me go ahead and put this in my div here so we'll put it above our asset name we'll also put our asset name into some paragraph tags and under that we'll also need to display the price of the nft to display the price we'll say price under your NFT, you have a buyout currency value per token. And under that, we can display that value there. So what it'll do is it'll get the listing value and display the value. And this is in Matic. So we'll put Matic at the end. So again, we're going to display the image of our NFT. We have our name of the NFT, and then it'll display the price of our NFT. So if we come back here, instead of just showing the names, we should see a little bit more information about our NFT listings. You can see again, our image, the name of it, and then the price. And of course, that is for each NFT that we have here. And the last thing we need to do is now give the option for someone who is on the marketplace to go ahead and purchase the NFT. What we'll do is we'll add a button to each listing and the button will just say buy now. Now the button will go ahead and We'll add an on click here. So for a button here, we're going to write a async function and that function is going to call the buy. So let's we'll do a try catch here. That way we can catch any errors and we'll alert any of the errors as well. What we're going to do is we're going to await our contract and under our contract, we have a buyout listing and a buyout listing. If we look here takes a big number and the quantity um, of how much NFTs we are going to purchase. So it is going to take the big number of the listing ID. Now, in order to get a big number, we can just type in big number from ethers and we're going to do big number dot from. And what we're going to do is pass our NFT listing ID. So if we do NFT dot ID, 
it'll get our listing ID. And we'll also pass the quantity, which they are only purchasing one NFT. So we'll go ahead and put one. So again, on when they click the buy now button, uh, we'll wait the contract and the contract has a buyout listing that is going to get, we're going to pass the list ID and then the quantity of the NFT being purchased. So if we come back to our marketplace here and we load our NFTs again, we will now have a buy now button. And what I will do is just to show you here, uh, right now our, wait, let's go back to our NFT collection. You can see the owners of all three of these NFTs are the wallet that I use to create them. So I'm gonna go to our marketplace. I'm gonna connect with a different wallet. So I'm not connected to a different wallet on our marketplace. And what we'll do is let's go ahead and buy this first NFT here. So I have a hit buy now, it should bring up a transaction here. And you can see 0 0.01 is the cost. If I reject that, and if I check the other ones real quick, if I do the second one here, it'll show 0 0.03 here. So we know it's pulling up the right prices. So let's go ahead, let's just buy this first one here. We'll confirm that transaction. All right, and you can see that it went through. So if we were to reload our marketplace here, you can see we now currently have only two listings. And if we come back to our NFT collection here, you can see our first NFT item that we purchased has now been transferred to the new owner. And there you have it. We went ahead and created our very own NFT marketplace on the Polygon or Mumbai testnet. And we went ahead and listed some NFTs up for sale. And we confirmed that with a buy now button that someone can go ahead and purchase the NFT and the NFT would go ahead and transfer to the new owner. I hope you folks enjoyed this tutorial video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and until next time, see ya.